Thank you. <laughs> Claire, how does it feel today, the day to go to you to fly at the World Cup? Yeah, it's uh, really exciting. Um, we've had a good training session today and now I think we just can't wait to get um, get our tweed jackets on and head out there tomorrow. <laughs> How's this week been for you? It's been quite eventful. Yeah, um, it's been good to be back with the squad. Um, after the Jamaica game, they got a few days off to be with family and stuff, so that was nice um, before the send-off tomorrow. Um, but yeah, it's been positive and looking forward to, to next week. And you're focused fully on international duty at the moment, but obviously with what's happening with your move as well, it's quite yeah. important for you. Yeah, um, it was important for me to get that all sorted before the World Cup. Um, so no, that's something I'm really excited about Orlando, but all my focus is on, on national team stuff at, um, at the moment. How did that come up? Um, it happened uh, a few weeks ago, um, and you know, in football, you don't get opportunities all the time. And I think when that came up, uh, I've always wanted to play um, pro soccer in, in America, and obviously, I was there at uni four years. And yeah, to play at Orlando, go back to Florida, and play with the likes of Alex Morgan and, and Marta. Um, I'm not going to say no to that. So, yeah, it, it all happened, um, and I'm just glad it's all sorted before the World Cup, so I can just focus on that. There's, al there's also a, a huge mural of you on the side of the <laughs> What do you make of that? Um, it's so cool. Um, yeah, I can't really quite believe it. Um, my auntie actually just sent me a photo. She went and uh, tracked it down and took a photo beside it. And she, she looks so small because it's a massive photo. But um, I think it's amazing. And, you know, thanks to Twitter for, for like, sorting it out because it's, uh, it's amazing. And I think, you know, so much is happening um, with the squad and women's football at the moment. But stuff like that, um, I think it'll be something I can always look back on and think, wow, like... There was a photo of me on a biscuit factory. Like, happy with the <laughs> I mean, I want. I kind of want to know what biscuits are in there because I love biscuits. <laughs> <laughs> the, the, the fact, I, mean, I think there's there's others going to be made of other members of the squad as well. But is that the moment when it hits home and goes, "Wow, this has actually got really quite big now"? Well, I've just seen Caroline Years. Uh, hers is on. I think it's on her high school um, in Dunfermline, and you know, I played with Caroline since I was like nine, ten years old, and. Just, we were just like, what? We're on like walls in Scotland, like as footballers, like what's going on? Um, so no, it's brilliant. It's brilliant for the team and it's good, uh, great support from Scotland, supporting their, their national team and we really appreciate it. So, so you also went to Brazil a couple of years ago and what, what was that like? It was an experience you went through, not you know, well done, it's great, great years of yeah. Yeah, it was it was hard. I was like so so gutted that uh, I didn't get to go. But at the same time, you know, um, it was a strong squad, and I hadn't really been involved um, under Anna. Um, so it was brutal to sit at home and watch it. But at the same time, it made me so determined to just work hard and train hard and make sure the next tournament I was up for selection. And fortunately, since Shelley's taken over, she's included me in her squad and um, she gave me my first start and I scored my first goal and I think playing under Shelley um, it's great to be a part of a team um, that's going to the World Cup and I'm just you know fortunate that I'm getting to go to this tournament because I know how hard it is to sit at home and watch uh, on my sofa so I'm delighted to be going to this one and yeah excited for it. Does it make you more determined to, to save her every minute of this when you yeah, I think um, just enjoying every moment and, you know, taking everything in. Um, that's what, it's the message we've got from the coaching staff and we even, we got to speak to Catherine Granger uh, last night and that was amazing. I think, you know, five time going to the Olympics, she's got lots of experience and the one thing she, she said is like, savour it, enjoy it because it doesn't come around often. We know that as Scottish people in World Cup, so uh, yeah, we'll we'll definitely enjoy it. So there's quite so many members of the Scotland squad play with or against some of the members of the squad. You've yeah. seen quite a lot of them yourself. Do you feel that Sam prepared you for more than any other match in group stages? Yeah, I th probably. You know, um, 
for the likes of myself and Jen and Caroline at, at Man City, um, you know, we know we know the likes of the, the English internationals there. Um, we train with them every day. Um, we know their strengths, their weaknesses, but they know ours as well. So I think it is good because we know what they're about, but at the same time, I think when it comes to, to that one game, um, it's about who turns up on, on the day. So, yeah, we'll, we've, we'll be prepared, but... Um, no, I think we just take, although it's England, it's, we've got three massive games um, coming up, so we just treat everyone the same and, you know, not think too much about the occasion and what it is, just focus on us as players and what we need to do to win the game. I think the team we've got now is like a lot different to the one that was at the Euros, so I think it's going to be a different game just because of the change of personnel already. Um, but yeah, as you say, we've we know a lot about their players. We play with them. We compete against them in the WSL. So hopefully this time it can be be more of a a game. Do you read any anything at all into the fact that they lost to a final warm up game? No, I think. You know, we're not silly. We know they're a great team full of world-class players. Um, if anything, they're probably more determined to get a result now after a loss. So I don't think I don't think we'll read too much into that. They're still, we know they're still going to be a, a great side. On the flip side, you guys are going coming into the tournament on a, on a winning unbeaten run mm -hmm. as well. So you've got momentum. How important do you think that is? Yeah, I think the win against Jamaica on Tuesday was massive. Not only for momentum, but just, you know, to kind of show the supporters that came up to watch us maybe for the first time that we can actually play entertaining football and they've got something to cheer about. So I think that although we've the win against Brazil and the win against Jamaica did build momentum, it does put us in a good place, but, you know, it's not like we're going to get ahead of ourselves. We still know just to do our jobs and to focus, focus on the game. Yeah, it was brilliant. I think um, still just looking back at it and we had like 18,500 people watching us play at Hamden, like that never would have happened um, a few years ago. So I think it just shows how much we've developed as a team and, you know, we've kind of gained more respect of the Scottish fans. Um, you know, the SFA are doing a lot of work to promote us and to kind of put us on that stage and I think... It's brilliant, and hopefully we keep inspiring the nation because that's what what we want to do. I think that's so incredible to hear. Even when you guys scored, the, the cheer that went up and everyone was standing up in their seats. Yeah, after even after the national anthem, um, the roar, the crowd after that was yeah, it was electric. It was a good feeling, and to know that you've got that many people supporting you and wanting you to do well, like. You've got a responsibility to like perform for them, and that's what that's what you want when you feel that support. It's it's positive and it's good. What does the team say that you took from Catherine Glazer you know, to chat to you? Was it a, a positive chat? And, and do you feel that the team were, were more mentally strong in that one? I think um, the biggest thing from Catherine was probably perseverance, and I think she was really good because she was realistic in terms of. You're going to have bad days in sport, you're going to have good days in sport, but you just need to focus on your goal and what you want to achieve and what it means to you. And I think that really has helped us because, you know, we've obviously got a big journey coming up and we just need to, to focus on ourselves and do what we think. Why do we play it and play, yeah, for we love it. So I think that was good. Yeah, I think um, it's when you become part of the national team, I think you automatically become a role model. And, you you, sh you know, people, young kids, will, will watch you and aspire to, to be in the national team one day. So I think that does come a responsibility to, to be a role model. Um, but I think all the girls we've got in this team, everyone's got great personalities, everyone's humble, everyone 
does the right thing. So I think it's something we can be proud of and, and we've got a full team of role models here. Um, well, I, I know I've spoke to the manager quite a lot. He was um, the Birmingham City manager, so he's seen me play um, in the WSL, and I think um, they need a winger, so hopefully I can give them some uh, attacking presence. Who would you like to see manage the team through this really difficult season? Um, I don't think it was anything he said. I think it was just... Um, a, just a huge opportunity and the fact that I would fit into his squad um, was, was enough for me to, to go. Better weather. Yeah, <laughs> I do love a tan. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, and you've already touched on it, you've already said you want to keep your luck yeah. around, you're lucky out in the table. What about the money? The money? Uh, football's not about money to me at all. I'd play for free, so that was never that's never been a factor ever. Um, but in terms of been going to Florida. I was there for four years at university. I spent a lot of my life there. I've got really good friends and people I consider family there. So going there also feels like I'm going back home a little bit. Um, so that that was another factor. It's obviously an amazing achievement qualifying for the World Cup. But what would it mean to take that to the next level and get out of the gypsy with the women for Scotland? Oh, uh, it's yeah. Obviously, it would be massive. Um, qualifying is is one thing, but now that we've done that, we need to you know, want to achieve the next thing, and that would be getting out of the group. Um, I think it's doable, and I think if we play well, um, yeah, it would be a, a huge achievement. You said you had to focus on what you wanted to achieve. So what do you want to achieve at this World Cup? Get out of the group. Um, we just focus on that three games and, and get out of the group. That's what we want. And do you feel like this seems like a good chance to give Paul some upsets to the favourites? Yeah, I think, you know, we've played... Um, we played USA at home in November. We lost one 0 but I think we gave them a good game, and they're, you know, world champions. Um, we've played the likes of Canada and Brazil, and we've given them good games. So, um, I think it's football. Anything's possible. So yeah, we'll, we'll see. Well, we'll touch on the future of the game. Anything like you got any good luck charms in there? Um, I've got my own pillow. Um, but. No, my sister my sister gave me one of her t-shirts. So I'm sleeping in her Barbados t-shirt. She works on a cruise ship. <laughs> so she can't come to the World Cup. My whole family's coming. Um but she can't come, so I'm wearing her t-shirt. That's that's about it. <laughs> Thanks very much. Thank you. All right. Pleasure. Cheers. Thank you.